All right, on today's show, we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship and the difference between traditional education and non-traditional. And be ready. It's going to be a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. It's Mauricio Mejia Live. Live. Entertainment guru, Silicon Valley entrepreneur, author, and speaker. It's Mauricio Mejia Live. All right, guys, welcome back to Mauricio Mejia Live. We are live here in downtown San Jose, Studio B, heart of Silicon Valley. And I'm very excited today to have these two young entrepreneur, Latino entrepreneurs, born and raised here in San Jose, California, again, heart of Silicon Valley. And I'm very excited to have two brothers with a vision. And I'd like to welcome my tocayo, Mauricio. And Luis, what's happening, my brother? How are what's you guys today? On? How's it going? How's it going? Thank <laughs> good, you for having good. us. Uh, one, thank you so much for making the time to be here today. And uh, congratulations on your guys' journey. Yeah. It's, we're going to dive into it and we're going to get to the roots of it and really see the development of what it takes to start a business and especially a paleta business, bro. Out of all the businesses in the world, the paleta, which, by the way, I love your paletas. I've had them and I've had to cut back on them because if not, I'm going to add another 10 pounds of, <laughs> of, of weight over here. But guys, I want to go into and dive into the story and go into a little history of where it all started. You guys are entrepreneurs now, but something, someone or something had to ignite that that trigger that entrepreneurial spirit for me it was my mother i talk about that where she provoked that that entrepreneurial spirit in me of she was an immigrant came here to the united states and she wanted a better life and she instilled those uh those morals and that kind of drive into me so guys where does it all start and who do we start with here do we flip a coin or what's right. what's uh, do we go with uh, uh, baby brother or older brother huh what, what? we're born and raised in san jose raised in the east side okay two hard-working parents dad was a dialysis tech worked okay. non-stop mother she worked in the biotech field up until her job got got sent overseas okay. and she had to find a new career at age what 34, 35, yeah. somewhere around that. She had her that's a reroute. Big, yeah, that's a flip, right? Yeah, she already thought she was sitting there, and all of a sudden her job leaves, so now she's got to reroute. Wow. Yeah, father was work work all the time, middle class, lower middle class family. Okay. So What did your father do? He was a dialysis technician. Dialysis tech, that's worked right. Worked for the that's, county. That's right, okay. From that, his work ethic, just we always saw that, just nonstop working double shifts, uh, as much as he could, we had soccer practice. We grew up playing competitively, and he would always make time to take us to practice. He, cool. He's an avid runner, so he'd always find time to run. Mm -hmm. And we'd be like, as kids, like, how does he do it? How does he work nonstop and still have time to do all these things and still show time for his family? And I guess through that, it just really showed us the resiliency part of it and the work ethic that if you want something, you could go do it, and you don't have to complain about it. He would wake up, smile on his face. At times, you'd get a little bit agitated for two young kids. You're running wild. Is, is there any other uh, siblings or just you? We two? have a third sibling. That's right. Young, younger brother, okay. Gabriel. Okay. Um, he's also part of the business as nice. well. He's their accountant. He graduated and from San Jose State. You said younger, so how much younger is he? Eight years younger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And he's handling the books, huh? All right. He's the one handling right. the books, yeah. All right. So everything stays in-house for us. Nice. Okay. It all, it all stays within the family. And let me ask you, Paleta... Paleta Planeta. It's always like a tongue twister there. Yeah. How did that, how, how, who came up with it and how did that idea come up with? And COVID hits, right? Yeah. You know, the 20, world's... 2020. 2020, right? right? I, we, I'm familiar with 2020 very well. <laughs> I think we all are. COVID hits. Everything slows down. I'm working two jobs at the airport. Even at the airport, things slow down, yeah. right? You get no hours, whatever the case might be. And I'm over here, stuff, stuff start turning in my head, like, hey, I got to do something because if I stay here, I'm just a number and I could be let go just as, as I saw people left and right all around me get let go, right? In all types of industries. So I started thinking, wow, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? You must have saw um, a crazy hit, like the minute that COVID hit. Oh, yeah. The, that, the airport just shuts down and it becomes it's a, a ghost town. It's literally a ghost town. Yeah. yeah. Straight ghost town. There's nobody flying, no movement, no nothing. 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 You're just, the world stops. Yeah. So you're like, dang, like, I was just thinking, man, if I stay here, if I keep working like this, yeah, it's, I'm going to get a paycheck, but what, am I really fulfilling what I really want to do? Am I really fulfilling my desires and leaving something for my children? So the wheels started turning. We have 
cousins that are actually Palateros, third generations. Mm -hmm. Their grandfather passed it down to their father, passed it down to them. So I, you know, one of my cousins came to San Jose, started doing his thing, and I was like, hey man, like let's let's partner up, let's let's, let's do something together. And he's like, uh -oh, he's like, here we go, the, the families, right? Yeah. So, trying to do business with family it, now, it, friends yeah. and families. Friends uh -huh. and family started yeah. to make sense. He was like, no, I don't want to do that, primo, because what if something happens and we end up wrong and we're going to mess up a relationship? How about, look, it, it, it took a while to get that in. So he ended up moving down to Texas, his sister's down there. And um, he was like, look, I talked to my sister. How about we do you one better? Because your father, because of your father, we're in the United States. And he, my father helped bring almost all his family up here. All right. So he's like, because of him. We'll teach you how to fish, catch your own fish, and you guys can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so we're still in COVID. This is the, still in COVID time. I'm asking my brother. He has a good job. He's well. He's stable. He's mm. stable. He's comfortable. Really quick. What so what are you doing at the, during all this time right now? So I was just. So we got somebody here that's interested in creating something, trying to build something. Yeah. You're not in the picture, and your little brother's probably playing with toys and shit. Mm -hmm. Something's brewing, and you're, where are you at in, this, in so all of this? I'm just working at the county. We were working from home. I'm an employment counselor for the county of Santa Clara, so okay. I was working from home. We were basically just honed down, right? I was still working. He kept on insisting that he wanted to go on this venture, and I said, nah. <laughs> but it's COVID, right? It, yeah. you're, you got to be really crazy to start a business during COVID, but yeah, yeah I get and it. And he kept saying, and I've always been the guy that it has to make sense number wise. He's yes. more. He's been always the dreamer, the visionary. Visionary. He doesn't think everything through. Sometimes he just wants to take off. That's right. Yeah. I just want to jump off the cliff. I just want to jump off the cliff. Yeah, we just fucking head first we'll, and we'll then, figure and it out. Even if we're bleeding and shit, we're like, hey, are we in though? Are we in? <laughs> <laughs> he's the type of person that I could tell him right now. Hey, I have. A million dollars. What other business can we do right now? Start popping ideas out of nowhere. And they'll be great ideas, but he's that type of guy that just runs. He yeah. runs. So I there's always... no there's no formal plan. It's, no. it's just a great idea no. and we'll find out. Yeah. I have I we have similarities. So I can... I dive into shit without a formal plan and then I'm like, fuck. <laughs> All right. I guess we're neat we're ways deep in the shit now, so we might yeah. as well keep going. Yeah. So, yeah. so he kept bugging me and I finally from hearing him, I got tired of hearing him. So I was like, Okay. Let's do it. But first, I have to go learn from them, from my cousins. Yeah. I have to, they, once they open up the books and I see number wise it makes sense, mm -hmm. then we'll go forward. Okay. So he's like, oh, just give it a try. Just go over there, learn, and then see, come back and see if it works. Uh, so I went, I flew out to Texas. Uh, I learned from them. They opened up the books. They opened up everything to us. Uh, so he kept his no, word. No Your cousin secret. kept his word. Yeah, no yeah. secrets, no nice. nothing, nothing like, oh, that's off limits. Or I can't discuss that with you or yeah. nothing, nothing. How like successful that. is their business right now? They're really, they're doing really good. They're yeah. in Kyle, Texas called La Ola Pop Shop. Okay. Yeah. And our other cousin in uh, Seguin, Tex El Seguin, Texas, La Playa. Nice. Yeah, they do fairly. Well. They do, they they're do doing well. well. Okay. Yeah. They're doing well. And you guys are going to be doing super great too. All right. So you so continue. We're, so I go. Uh, yeah. They open up the books to me. Everything to me. No no secrets. No nothing. I come back and I say to Mau Mauricio Mauri. I think he was still on the flight home. He was like, "Hey, it's we're doing go. it. I'm we're in." <laughs> I'm, you, so you didn't go? No, I didn't go. Oh. My my daughter was about to be born. All right. Around that time, so I couldn't. I had to stay home. Okay. So I went. We went, I went on the way back, on the flight back, I text them, it's a go. It's a go. So when we got back, I started ordering the machines. We started looking into the machines. We ordered one from Brazil. When they shipped, it had to be in quarantine for a month, so it delayed. <laughs> oh, and it had a, it was a big old thing, and I'll let them go into that part, the rest yeah. of it from there. Yeah, so machine was quarantined. So he comes back, hold on, he comes back, he's excited, he's like, I'm in, it's your idea, he's against it. And really quick. Education. What's where? What school did you? What's your highest level of education? I went to Cal State East Bay. I okay. graduated from Cal State East Bay. All right. I have a degree in health science, okay. administration, and management. So nothing to do with paletas. <laughs> nothing to do with nothing paletas. To do with paleta. paleta. Nothing to do with business. It's more of a no. administrative, administrative stuff. Administrative stuff in the healthcare. In the healthcare the, industry. The hospitals, yeah. Which, by the way, it is a great. That's a great industry to be in. Yeah. That that could be another vertical or another business that we can develop later. Yeah. So, and then. You, Mauricio, where, as far as education, what's uh, the... As far as education, I just went to Evergreen College for about uh, two semesters. Okay. Just to play on a soccer team. And, uh, <laughs> that was pretty much it And get for out me. of the house to your parents, you're going to school. Yeah, I'm going to school, right? Because yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want to let them down and say, I don't want to go to school. Let's go to school. And I went just 
I don't know, being in the classroom, doing the homework, doing all that stuff, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. And then so they were like, all right, if you don't got to go to school, if you're not going to go to school, then find a job. Yeah. So I had to find a job. So started working, really no entrepreneurial bone in my body is besides get a check, buy a fit, go to the club. Yeah. Let's Bottles, be, repeat, let's, go, let's, let's go. go. But I was always creative. I, there's certain things that I like and um, I would say I'm ahead on stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, creative in that sense. So besides that, yeah, no, no entrepreneurial experience at all. Yeah, it's just well. a dream, a vision and a dream. And I knew once uh, he went and he texted back, like, it's a go. I was like, it's yeah. a go. You like, gotta, all you, right, we're you on. You got a partnership. You got to, yeah. you, you have a, where you have support. Yeah. And right? I knew without a doubt from day one, once I had the, the vision for it, I knew I wouldn't be able to do it without him. Nice. If I teamed up with some other guy that's also a visionary or whatever the case might be, what are we going to do? A hobby? Like, I wasn't trying to build a hobby. No. I wanted to build an empire or start building an empire, work mm. work towards it. Yeah. That's what I wanted. And I knew I had to get my brother on board. Let me ask you, and I, know, I already know the answer, but I just, I got to hear it. We got to have it on record. Would you ever go back to a job? No, I'm actually... You know, I, I, like, in the beginning, maybe you would you yeah. probably bud your heads, but... Yeah. After the the time, how long you guys now? It's about four years. Two, two years. Oh, years. okay. But you started in COVID, so let's. 2021, we sold our full, uh, October 5th of 2021. We sold our first paleta out of our parents' house, there you all go. through Instagram. All right. Just straight off of Instagram, no, nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so going back, would you, the freedom that you guys have experienced, the growth that you guys have have seen, the taste. Of, of seeing and feeling the success ahead, would you go back and get a job? No. No, no I'm actually, I, I have a five-year plan, and I plan to leave my current eight-to-five job because I still work at eight-to-five job. And that's okay. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that, that's the difference. Yeah. If you're in this thing, would you go back or is sometimes you have to have that supplemental. I look at that as a supplemental income versus my primary income, right? Or it's the thing that kind of helps keeps the pays the bills and yeah. gives you the money to build the runway and then as soon as you build a long enough runway then you can yeah. take off exactly. and i know that i've i treat my businesses like i work for my businesses and i tell myself i said yeah that's what pays the bills and gives me the ability to build that runway and i tell people i, I fly a 747 jet so i need a long runway so we got to keep giving it and once we get going we're off. That's the goal and that's the plan. And that's why, to answer your question, no, I would want to dive into deeper into this. I feel the hours that I'm dedicating to to my eight to five job, mm. I'm sacrificing the growth of the business right now. And when it gets too big, at some point, it will get too big that it, I'm sacrificing too much by taking those hours yeah. for my eight to five job. That's when I don't know I got to leave. Yeah. Yeah. And you're all in. You're yeah, 100%. All in. You're handling the manufacturing, distribution, and... Everything. My brother, he handles most of the manufacturing. Okay. Yeah. Manufacturing is probably I handled... done in the evening after your... Exactly. Yeah. Evening yeah. times. Okay. Long days. Yeah. Long days, but... So we kind of... It's three of us, so we kind of divvy up the work. It's a team at the end of the day. He'll handle the manufacturing. I'll do the distributing medium of clients, events, or whatever, if I got to go be on... Be on the field. I got to go be on the field, handle all that client face to face. A lot of people think that I'm the only one. Well, that's and I, when, the, when we first met, I remember, I, and again, we met through social media. It was Instagram. I don't know how you popped up into my feed all of a sudden. And I was like, and then I just, I wanted to try the paletas out, man. I was yeah. like, hey, how do we order some paletas? And then next thing you know, I had to, you came and delivered. And then the rest is history. We've had a, a pretty good relationship. Yeah, definitely. It's been a little over a year that I've known of your brand. And yeah. again, I've I'm seen it grow, and then when I heard that there eventually is going to be a, a brick and mortar, that's big, guys. That's real big. And let's go back to Paleta Planeta. How did you guys come up with that name, by the way? Because it's a tongue twister, but the brand is cool. The imaging that you guys have done, how, how did that happen? It comes from it's a little playoff Toy Story, okay. Pizza Planet. Okay. You're just going All around right. searching for names, and then what about if we're a planet of popsicles? Wow. Like. Paleta right. Planeta. Paleta Planeta. Planeta Paleta. Nah, Paleta Planeta. Let's do Paleta Planeta. Yeah, no, because yeah. Paleta, yeah, you want to say that what it is. Because sometimes things in, in English Spanish don't translate. Yeah, yeah. They don't translate yeah. properly. Obviously, you guys have had your success with it. Then goes, you guys start to create your own flavors and your own styles. Was that part of the training that you guys had when from your family? Or is that, are these different types of recipes too? Because 
My favorite, by the way, hands down, is the Cookie Monster one. I, I had to yeah. share that with my producer. I was like, you got to try this one palette that's a Cookie Monster, and they actually have cookies in the damn thing. And I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys have come up with some real cool, some exotic flavor ones. I probably have at least the majority of your flavors. I've had them. The lime ones are one of my favorite ones with the actual piece of mm -hmm. slice of lime. Yeah. I even asked, I'm like, how do you guys like make this thing happen like position because it's well done yeah thank you your guys is, your paletas are not uh it's not just a hey here's a paleta it's it's a craft it's a to me it's a high-end paleta yeah yeah that, that's know? exactly what we wanted to do from the start we yeah. always we saw a gap in the market because there's a lot of paletas but they're really selling you concentrate and we both have families so it's like my kid always wants a popsicle or whatever and it's, you want that it's like full of sugar how about we saw this avenue or this little pathway. It was like, hey, let's build something, a premium. Mm -hmm. There's that, and that's fine, but let's build a premium so where our kids or any other kids try it. They're like, they're actually getting real fruits. Yeah, yeah, some real nutrients, yeah. some real stuff. Not just pure concentrate. What was the first flavor you guys came up with? Or what was the first so the, one? What was the first palette that you sold? What flavor was it? I believe it was, we started off with the simple stuff first, the and then... Yeah, we worked into the Cookie Monster and the rest of that. That was actually from our cousins. They passed over recipes. But over time, we've we've started to do our own flavors. And now sometimes we call them or they call us like, hey, Primo, how, how'd you do this? Or how'd you do that? Ah, well, I added this and I added that. So now we share recipes now. Yeah. What does what does it what's the end game for you guys ultimately? I mean, you guys are obviously involved in community. Mm -hmm. I know that you guys are involved in giving back to community through your paletas. Mm -hmm. I also I got a brief on the on one of the Bad Bunny events that one of the girls that one of the people that was out in the audience talked had a sign up about cancer and you guys had got involved in something like that. Share about that because that's important, man, especially as you guys are coming up and there's a purpose, there's a, a why behind you guys, your creation and what you guys are doing in your movement. Yeah. So with that, we teamed up with uh, Snyder uh, Carrasco. What and she is, she just, she was the, the... We didn't know her before. Got yeah. it. Okay. We, so we that's seen, the person that got, they became famous almost overnight. Yeah. We seen her story on Instagram yeah. prior to all that. And we honestly wanted, we, when we started, when we first started, we always said we wanted to give back. We wanted to find something to give back. We didn't want, we wanted to do everything with the purpose. Got it. So what we did is we were thinking of ideas and how can we were, a soft spot we always had was for children's cancer. So we wanted to team up with somebody and do something special. So the idea that I had was, why don't we team up with somebody who's battling cancer, mm. a, ch a child that's battling cancer, have them create their own, have them create it from A to Z. Nice. And we just, we bring it to life and we sell it. And all the proceeds will donate to the charity of their choice. Wow. So what we did is I reached out to Zenaida's mom, Crystal, and asked her, hey, we have this idea. Would she be interested? Would Z be interested? I call her Z. Would she be interested in participating? In how does part she, how does Z? At this time, she was, I believe, eleven years old. Yeah. Wow. Eleven or twelve. And she had already gone through some and version. She, she yeah. Been, she, she has been battling cancer since four years old. Wow. Yeah. She's beat it, I believe, four times. Talk so, about a, talk about a warrior. Oh, was a real warrior. warrior. Real and survivor. that's why she actually named her Paleta. La Guerra Z. So, so wow. we reached out to her. We asked her, hey, we're thinking wow, of this. That's, that's we, amazing. <laughs> we want to do a paleta. We want her to create it. We yeah. want her to design the sticker that will go on each paleta. We want everything. She will just bring it to life yeah. and we'll sell it. But all the proceeds that we make off of that paleta and donations will be donated to the charity of her choice. She was on board. They were on board. We met up. We got some idea. I asked her to brainstorm some flavors that she wanted. We brainstormed. She did the tasting. She chose the one that she did, which I would have never thought of. It had watermelon, lime, grape, and I, there was one more item. I forget the other one. But she created that paleta, and I asked her, what would you like to name it? She said, La Guerrera Z. Wow. Paleta Z for her. her. Yeah, La Guerrera. Yeah, yeah no. La Guerrera. And so what we did is we brought it out to, we sold it. And we were able to raise through donations and people purchasing one thousand two hundred and eighty-one dollars for the month of September, which is Childhood Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Nice. And she don't she wanted to donate the proceeds to Lucio's Children's Hospital. Oh, yeah. And PDA what was it? Pediatric Cancer Research Institute. Nice. Yeah. 
is she still in her in in doing her movement or did anything develop uh, after that though? She still is, but cancer came back. Cancer came back. Wow. She actually has her own business as well. She does jewelry for for a bracelet and she sells it. She started that when she was in in receiving chemo. To pass the time, she would start creating bracelets and start selling them online. Z Jewelry. Her Instagram is, I believe, Z dot Jewelry Box. All right, we're gonna have to get that jotted down. And yeah. and I think if anything, is does she have like a GoFundMe account that she's that she's maybe established, or maybe we can do a, a paleta, bring back her paleta, her flavor, mm-hmm. and make make it a treat, right? She's probably or we can give them to the kids at the hospital. Is she right now in in the hospital at the Lucille Packard Hospital, or currently no? Okay, she's at home now, but she is receiving treatment. Receiving treatment. She we, will be receiving treatment. We got to make that man. We're gonna have to touch that. That one really it hit me, and the fact that she she's a, she is a warrior, right? Yeah. yeah. How old is she? She's, I believe, 12 or 13 now. Wow, so yeah. she's still young. She's I think, if anything, to keep her spirits up, Yeah. I well. think we should, and I'd be more than happy to donate for the recipes or anything like that, to get at least just to, to let her know that you guys haven't forgotten about her, that nobody, we're here to support, and there's a lot of people that care. So. Yeah, not just her, all the other kids that are going through cancer yeah. and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any yeah, type yeah. of hardship. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, wow, that's that's a touching story there. What, and the family, how's the, what's the family... So the family, I give it up to the Carrasco family. Yeah. They're, they are strong. Okay. The dad, Chewy. Yeah. The mom, Crystal, and the siblings, Yanelli, and they call him Papa. Okay. Uh, Jesus. All right. We're going we're, we're gonna to have to work together on this one. This is something that I want to take on yeah. and see if we can do a special yeah, yeah. special run for her. And just, to, again, give her something, some hope, mm-hmm. right? Because sometimes we, we need a little hope during crazy times. Sometimes, so. yeah. So okay, so you that's that's one of the stories that I wanted to hit on other community things that you guys are involved in. I know that there's organizations as well that you guys are. Last year we did so. Besides that, we also have a soft heart for autism, yes. autism awareness, and that's in April. Last year we ran, we ran something for that month. We did a paleta, which was strawberry, kiwi, mango, and lime with the blue color. So that resembles the puzzle, the puzzle for the autism okay and we donated 50 percent of the proceeds to the uh, autism research research institute okay so and autism what, came about why is that something that you guys are is there a close relation or yeah, is it okay a family member yeah got it from not from siblings my son your son yeah my son okay and how old is your son my son is five they see the world differently and it'd be crazy. It'd be, it'd be interesting to jump into one of those minds and see how they see the world, yeah. right? Because we I, I, I we see it and we're time. like, damn, we're like, damn. And imagine what they're thinking. Yeah. How you how have you been able to cope with something like that? And fine, just yeah. I treat them like a normal child. Try not to basically treat them any different. And the yeah. reason why is because the world is not going to treat them any different. Right. So I try to. I sometimes obviously I give in at times, but I try to for the most part I try to treat them, treat them like any normal child. Because, again, when he goes out to the real world, they're going to treat him like a normal child, yeah. like a normal person. Yeah. So when he gets a job, they're not going to cut his workload by half right. because he's autistic. Nah, he's still going to have to do the same amount of work. So it's a tough love relationship that yeah. I give him, but also trying to help him with therapy and all that. But, yeah. How did you? How did you see the? Was what was the trigger? What, yeah, just uh, yeah. What? Yeah, you're. We're, we're thinking it. So we're thinking. what it was that he wasn't speaking at two years old. Yeah, he wasn't talking, and I didn't find it normal because I found it normal because they said that I didn't speak till three years old. Yeah. So, to me, it was nothing. But then now they, we can't get you to be quiet. And nah, shit, they, right? so, they, <laughs> <laughs> so they did it. They sent him to do an evaluation, and then a therapist came back and said, "Yeah, he's borderline autistic." Based on his behaviors, I guess they have certain things that they catch. So they just they said that he's borderline autistic. Yeah, autism. You guys give back to to autism. To autism. Too, yeah. Any other involvements in community that that's close to you guys, or is that really the? Those have really been the two institutions that we've donated to. Other than that, we just wanted to be involved in anything community in San Jose. Yeah, I know I got you guys involved last year in my block party, and this yeah. year we got six of them. So you guys, we're gonna have Paleta Planeta. As the official yeah. pa- uh, pa- paleta for the shows, for the events. And I know that we've talked about some other things that are coming up that I want to start getting creative. Now that the world, I feel, it has opened up and we don't have, there is no COVID coming up. The only thing that I'm, and I hate to say it, but the next distraction that's coming up is the wars that are happening on the other side of the mm-hmm. world. And it's just crazy. But as of right now, here where we're at, 
I keep telling people we're probably one of the greatest places in the world right now, being here in California, San Jose, Silicon Valley, capital, global capital of the world of technology and innovation. And to think that we're creating businesses, yeah. we're still, there's no stopping us. There's no stopping the creative juices. I think that the bigger global game plan of your, what you guys, and I think we talked about this a while back is when we first met was, is what's the exit strategy? If there is an exit strategy or what is the, eventually you want to go into, you want Paleta Planeta to be in every store or restaurant. You want it to be something bigger. Yeah. And I think that you guys, you, I, when we had that conversation, you totally, you felt the vision. You were like, yeah, that's what I see. Yeah. But we got to, we got to start. Turning the wheels on it. That's yeah, right. We, every day we work towards it. But yeah, that's always been the ultimate vision since the start. It was never a hey, just build one shop, two shops, three shops. Nah, it's always been we need to build an empire. Collab we need a franchise. We need a collaborations. Are, are you guys doing any big collaborations coming up or anything like that? Not, that not at the moment. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Yeah. yeah. We're, no, right no. now we're focusing on the opening up the brick and mortar. Yeah. And going that way, and then going from there uh, if you guys need any help with that especially with the city and all that nonsense let me know where you guys get stuck or hit roadblocks you guys are right across from city hall there should be no excuse yeah. city hall to <laughs> not help you guys out let me ask you downtown san jose why downtown why the paleta planeta is it is it by choice or just an opportunity uh, or it was a opportunity timing? i was hearing you timing i heard timing coming at you. Yeah. What, what do you think it was that so just the timing we were at that point where we were looking to get a brick and mortar shopping around and just we were just like ah oh, nah like nothing downtown or outside of downtown it was like no foot traffic no it's not really popping and that andrew espino from one culture reached out said yeah, hey, yeah i got yeah. the space i it's too much for me it's a lot of space for me how about you guys want to share it with me so we said yeah man go let's do it right to my brother he's like wow right there four street pizza downtown yeah it was like yeah yeah that's a, actually that's yeah, a, like, that's a great spot like man. let's do yeah. it that's a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of traffic uh you're near the university yep uh, you have uh, the, the city hall right next. You have a high rise right across the yep. street. Mm -hmm. You got a couple other high rises, uh, apartment high rises that are going to be building you know, across the street, mm -hmm. and those are happening. The commercial industry right, or the commercial side right now is taking the hit. All the office spaces, but the housing element right yeah, now, residential is going yeah. up. Res residential is yeah. going up because mm -hmm. we have a big housing crisis. Yeah, we and yeah, we just going back and listening to your podcast with Zach. Just the whole excitement of what's bound to happen downtown oh, yeah. San Jose. It yeah. was like, yeah, we're, we're, we we want to be part of that. And we're yeah. going to be part of that. Yeah, I think that there's going to be a lot of opportunities um, as things start to develop. It's a slow process, guys. Uh, trust me, I'm, I want everything yesterday. And <laughs> it just it's, it, it drives me fucking nuts. Like today we, we had a, a great meeting with all our team. Every week we have a team meeting, and that's important. And I'm sure that you guys know that having a, a team meeting or a weekly meeting to hold everything account, everyone accountable every, and keep the checks and balances going. And we were just talking about just how right now there's a lot of great things that are happening in the city, but there needs to be a, some forms of accountability. We have a big event, the GTC, that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's, you know, we are... NVIDIA, and, right? NVIDIA. Yeah. If, if people don't can't grasp the, the importance of that, you have all the greatest minds for AI technology. In one building. And under, yeah, here in one city. Yeah. This conference is very important. NVIDIA has taken the, the lead on that stuff. AI technology is going to be in everything. Imagine AI technology is going to be in the computer systems that are going to tell you what paleta you really should be yeah. probably producing in the yeah. future. It, it, and it's all because of data, right? Data, mm -hmm. it'll tell you. Hey, you might think that the Cookie Monster is the best seller, but it's no, dude, that's your worst seller. Mm -hmm. And you're like, but everybody likes it. No, but you have other ones that cost less, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, 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 there's, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though it might be the, like, you, everyone gets excited and it gets the best reviews, that's probably the most expensive palette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, but if, so that's AI is going to be able to make things a lot more efficient. We'll see, right? We yeah. still, everything we're still learning. There's the good and there are bad reviews about it. But again, going back to that, there's so many people that are now coming out, that are, the world is now opening up. This year, we went full force with the the events. That's what we were talking about today is we need to now start to really explode the heart of Silicon Valley. We need to really take things to a whole different level. And it, it, even with our own businesses now, because we can't let all that noise get in our heads. We can't let that, those distractions. Yeah, You can't let what your son 
is going through at a young mm. age become a distraction of what your ultimate goal is. That's just part of life. Yeah. And you got to make happen, make it happen. Because if it wasn't, if it's not that, trust me, it's something, it's something else. else. It, I tell myself, I'm like, geez, if it's not my back hurting, it's my stomach hurting. If yep. it's not my stomach, it's my back. I'm like, damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> 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 but, and so I, we didn't get into yours. Uh, you mentioned daughter or do you have children? I have two, two kids. Two kids, that's yeah. right. Okay. The son and a seven-year-old son and a well, two-year-old you, daughter. You, that's right. You mentioned the daughter earlier. Okay, so daughter and then your son. Yeah. How old is your son? Seven. Seven. Okay. That's Seven a big difference, bro. Five years? Yeah, uh, five I know. Year difference. I think I should have just knocked them yeah. out back to back. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, yeah. Anyways, hey, when you, I was dropping them off at kindergarten, I looked back and I said, ah, oh, you're still here? <laughs> All right. For a walk or something. Talk to me about your family life, man. How does that, how does that impact your business? Uh, in any, I'm, in, and it actually, it's more of, it's a motivator. Mm-hmm. Every day. You it's kind of what up, I was hoping you, see you the were going to Yeah, it motivates nice. you to do better, be better. Yeah. Look to grow every day. Are because, they your biggest fans for paletas? Oh yeah, you, they love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they love my brother. He'll get my son if he sees, if he goes to the shop. He's like, oh, you're here to work. Uh-huh. Hey, grab that. Grab me some sticks. Grab me this. Hey, start boxing those up. Oh wow. <laughs> oh yeah, he'll put them to work. Nice. Yeah, like, Max, you're not coming over here just to just come to try eat. it. Yeah, yeah just you're, eat you, you got to work. That's good. So he will always put in the work, and that's always good. But yeah, it's just a, it's a big motivation because I was going to mention before, with no formal education, me. So I was just always looking, buy a fit, go to a club, pop a bottle, and that, repeat, repeat, repeat. So once yeah. I had a family, I was like, I got to figure out something. Yeah, th- this J-O-B stuff is not going to end up working. I'm just going to... Plus, your girl ain't going to be tolerating that shit yeah, anymore, right? Because exactly. Like, yeah, popping so, bottles and hanging out with girls. Exactly. It's not going to so happen. Nah, I had to switch out the whole game plan. Yeah. And now, really, just look for things that make them better, make us better, yeah. and work towards something that we can leave a legacy, for not just for my children, my brother's children, and for the rest of the family. And that, that goes to say also late. When I was going to school, we were supposed to follow a path, right? Yeah. We were supposed to go to school, get a nine to five, and just l- go work 20 years at the job and then retire and you have a unite, live your life. No, uh, no dude, you're hurting my, you're hurting my yeah, stomach yeah, yeah, right no now. Dude, just by, uh, programming. That's called programming, yeah. right? But so that's, that's what we society, grew up seeing our society, father, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah our father. And, but but yeah. now it's different. Yeah. And so we want to leave something for our children that if they want to go to school, yeah. but if you don't want to go to school, that's fine. Take yeah. a different, make your own path. Right. Take your own path that you so want to take. As long as we're pushing forward, forward mm-hmm. constructively mm-hmm. and not enabling, because mm-hmm. when you do that, that can also backfire, right? Yeah. At least that's my belief, right? Yeah. yeah uh, hey, get your education. Yeah. But if you don't want to go to school, yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm building an something em- else. I'm building an empire. I got three boys, and they would. I've I've told them since day one. You guys are gonna work your ass off, and if you want to, I will leave all of what I have behind. Yeah. But you will work and earn it. I'm not gonna leave and just leave it and hand it off. Yeah, just here. because your daddy said, and then and I rather give it away to good causes. Than to do that, I'll always make sure to take care of my obviously my family first, mm-hmm. right, and make sure that everything is set up. But the ultimate long game is to make sure that everyone earns their that they have that earning capacity, that that mindset of giving back yeah. and paying it forward and continuing yeah. to elevate, right. One of the things that that motivates me is that at least now is that I want to be able to inspire, empower, educate others. And then really focus on our Latino culture as well, right? It doesn't matter where, what part of Latin or what Latino we are, right? We're all mm-hmm. people and we all have that Spanish blood or the Latino blood in us. And that to me is I want to see our people lift and grow and go up because it's a crazy, it's a crazy world, right? We, <laughs> we, and we only live it once. Yeah. And then if we, if you really do, I'm, I was a, a, a big history guy. I always love history and uh, because it, it intrigues me, right? Mm-hmm. All the things that we do know of and the things that we don't know of. And you'd be surprised of the things that, you know, that this country, which um, we're blessed to be in this country because it's a, it's a country of opportunity. Yeah. There's no other place, but we're not perfect either. Or yeah. this country's not perfect either. But we get a lot of the that we get a lot of opportunities that a lot of other places won't give so that's why people come here that's right mm-hmm. so that's the american dream mm-hmm. right and when you come here though it and you really dive into it, it then you realize that it is not it's not easy it's it comes with hard work yeah. right and we when we talk about entrepreneurship whether it's a paleta whether it's doing real estate doing this podcast it it takes work to make it 
fruition to something to be successful, right? The biggest thing I think is dedication. Absolutely. You have to have, you have to have commitment, yeah. right? Commitment, dedication, yeah. resiliency. Yeah. You, yeah. You got to take sometimes, honestly, like even today for me, shit, the last five days for me have been miserable, but I mean, I, to me, this is important and I'm going to muster up all the energy that I have to continue to my commitment. Cause easily I could have said, Hey guys, we're going to, we're going to reschedule. Mm -hmm. But that's one thing about me that I just, I'm not. Once I've made my decision, it goes back to my book, right? Decide, mm -hmm. commit, execute. Once I made my decision, I commit, and then I execute, right? Because those are the important things. And just like in business, you made a decision. You wanted to create a paleta empire. You didn't even have a name yet, or yeah. you were, it was in the works. You committed to it, and you execute it. But your, fully, your full execution happened when your brother jumped on board, because mm -hmm. then now you knew you had someone to lean on yeah. with, and then you guys have now... Grown this thing. Let's just three, say years, years. In three, right, years, three in years in October. All right, three years in October. There we go. I like that one better. I like the <laughs> three years in October. How many paletas have you guys produced? Thousands yeah, of paletas. We're, say we're pushing like 80,000. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah, no, for me, it's a premium paleta. Inspiration. Who I, I know your parents have been inspiring to you, but what other things have been inspirational to what you guys are doing? today what's been inspirational in driving the paletas and maybe the some of the paleta themes that you guys have created what is that fuel i bet i think the biggest fuel is family okay family again going back to leaving a legacy leaving something behind some type of legacy leaving when we leave this earth there we leave with nothing we, could we, have, we came, we came, came, we came with nothing, nothing and leave, leave with nothing. nothing. We came butt naked and then they put us in the suit when we leave. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you turn into so, bones. So leaving a legacy for the family. The family is yeah. the biggest inspiration. Our dad coming here with no papers. No. My grandpa from my mom's side came to the United States. With He was born in Chicago, raised in Mexico. Yeah. He came here and he worked in the, what was it? The Bracero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right here at the, the so orchards. He, he grew up and working at all these orchards and his family followed the crops seasons. Right. Yeah. Through the, you said Braceros, the yeah. Braceros mm -hmm. program, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. So my grandpa was, came here and he worked and he basically, he lived in a closet. He lived in a closet for the longest time because that's all he could afford. Wow. And he brought one by one over here. My mom, my, my aunts, my uncles. And eight kids. Eight kids. So that. Fuck. Is, talk about dedication, yeah, right? Different yeah. times. Yeah. Different times, right? You guys would not be here if that exactly if that root that seed wasn't planted. Exactly. Right. So the inspiration, I think, we get it from our family. That's really where it comes from, for me at least. Going to the flavors, we try to keep it traditional Mexican flavors with yeah. a modern twist, modern fusion. We're Silicon Valley, like you've mentioned. That's right. Innovation, baby. We gotta yeah. innovate new flavors. Take a little bit of this. Take a little bit of that. Let's mesh it together and bring flavors together and bring cultures together yeah that's one thing about us that we wanted to take a little bit from every culture and combine it with the mexican culture because yeah. the base and the foundations of our paletas are mexican rooted yeah but we could take from the japanese or we could take from filipino culture or indian culture or cultures from all over the world going to say hey what do you really like what do you guys like over there for dessert what, yeah. what do you like over here for dessert and bringing that all together and meshing it into one yeah there's a well one of my Favorite uh, in Persian culture, they have uh, an ice cream with pistachios. It's damn, I can't think of the name right now. But anyways, it's such a good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a flavor yeah. of that. And I'm gonna bring it to you guys and say, hey, can you make me these paletas? Because yeah, definitely, they, these are really good. So, what do you guys see? Uh, what's the future looking like for 2024? We're f first quarter's almost done. What do you guys see moving? What's the big accomplishment? Brick and mortar. Obviously, you're looking at possibly. Second quarter, late second quarter. Yes. And uh, then is that the does that become the main focus or do you guys keep your grassroots? Because you guys are on the streets, man. You guys are grassroots. Yeah. No, we'll definitely open up the brick and mortar, but mm -hmm. also keep like you said, keep the grassroots. Yeah. Keep the events going. Keep yeah. Don't forget that because that's a version of catering. Yeah. Or definitely. a version of your marketing. It's all marketing. You have good days, you have bad days, or some days we go out and we lost more on the vendor fee than then we did actually sell, but hey, every day you're one day closer to your goal as each day goes on. You guys got six block parties with me this year. We're going to, you guys are the official paleta. Hey, the last uh, ones were great. Thank yes. you for having us. Yeah, no, Thank you for the we're, invite. We're, we got that. We're working on a pool party paleta. We're going to do the detox Sundays, popsicle mini versions because I'm not here. To, yeah, yeah. Those are going to be free giveaways and I'm not trying to spend <laughs> Our budget is very little on that, but no, I, and yeah, that's going to be fun, man. There's a lot of things. 2024 to me has kicked off. It's had his little bumps in the first three months, but it's expected. And again, 
I'm really excited to have you guys on the show. I'm really excited to see where this all goes. And I'm looking forward to being a big part of your guys' success. Involved, I don't know what in which ways, however, but I told you guys whatever I can do to to support and carry on uh, what you guys are doing, man. I'm just yeah, it just makes me feel it just makes me feel proud to see other Latinos making yeah. shit happen. Bro, and you've always been great to us. You uh, you invited us to the uh, to the UV all the urban vibrancy. Oh yeah, yeah, no par- block parties, and you're like, hey man, just pull up. Yeah, just, no, hey, it, it's not about pull for, up and for me, it's not about the money. It's not about the vendor fee. It's about how do we help community? Mm-hmm. How do we help other uh, businesses grow when the struggle is real, and right? You introduced us to Zach. Yeah. Great guy. Zach That's is going to be... A, introduced it, us to plenty of other people that have been helping us yeah. along the way, and thanks all, to... All I asked for from some free paletas for yeah. life. Hey, you know what? You, you, you send me the text, I'll throw them in the Uber, yeah, and I'll make no, it happen. I, I love it. It's 2024, I, I, we it, make it, things it was, happen. It was the funniest shit. I was like, yeah, well, you got some paletas delivered. I'm like, by who? Uber? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like... <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, it's crazy how oh, the world is now, right? Yeah. The lady came in, and she started asking me for some code, and I was like... Right, I remember I go, you texted me. These paletas are here, and I started opening. She's, oh no, hold on. I was like, oh no, these are my paletas. <laughs> hey man, what's the code? I was what's like, the, oh, yeah. what's the code? But any last words that you guys want to share with the world, whether it's an inspiration, whether it's I don't know something that you would want the world to know from each of you guys. I want to hear what would you share to another another person that's either wanting to go into business or just just listening. What is it? So first, I want to say that I'm excited for this year. You were talking about 2024, so yeah. I'm excited for this year, what it's bringing. I'm excited for San Jose, yeah. for where other vendors, other people are building other yes. things. For example, I'll plug two people, Pinto, the Pinto yes. Cocina Mexicana. Yes. What I is, heard they're great. I can't wait to where apparently yes. we're going to have them at one of our, our great uh, tacos. What, yes. What they're bringing to San Jose. Yes. And then another one, Jor- Jorvan's Micheladas okay. on, on Alum Rock. Okay. Uh, those, what they're bringing to San Jose, those are two businesses that we follow very dearly along with the other ones. But those are two businesses that are bringing something different to San Jose. Nice. Now to go into what do I want to leave other entrepreneurs? with yeah. is basically uh when you decide that you're gonna become an entrepreneur just do it yeah. jump into it it's gonna <laughs> yeah. it's, there's gonna be days where you're gonna question yourself if you're doing the right thing there's gonna be days that you're probably gonna cry at night you're yeah. probably gonna be Me stressed right out Me, you're yeah. probably gonna be right stressed here. out <laughs> yeah there's gonna be nights where you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night sweating mm. yeah because you're stressing over either money or an event coming up or something mm. is on your mind you're always gonna you always got to prepare for the worst. There's always you always have to have about three or four plants because there's, it's always going to happen. When you think it's not going to happen, it's going to happen. It oh, could yeah. happen. The next problem is already coming. For example, yeah, me, already I'm coming. already thinking if my freezer breaks and all my product goes bad, do I have what's my plan? What yeah. would happen there? Having thinking about all that, making sure like you're going to you're going to have those days where you're going to question yourself, question your ability, question if you're even doing it for the right reasons, just question yourself. Don't do it. Just you're on the right path. Be dedicated. Stick to it. Uh, There's going to be days that you're not going to have any sales. Yeah. Show yeah. up every day. Just show up. Thanks, coach. I like it. Like, are you? I think we're doing a therapy session right <laughs> now. I'm like, damn, no. You're, and you're right. Absolutely. There's the game doesn't the entrepreneurship has different levels, but they're all the they, we all have the same symptoms, right? It's yeah. got you're going to feel the sweats. You're going to feel the worry. Them mm-hmm. you're, then you're going to feel the successes and the celebrations. And they're all at different. It's at just it, at what level are you playing the yeah. game? Right. I tell people, I said, when I hit that hundred million dollar mark in my life. In 2019, I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. And then, and from there, I was going to exponentially grow from 100 million to a billion mm-hmm. in 2020. But w- life happened. Life ha- yeah. COVID came and just wiped everything out. Yeah. And you're just like, whoa. But what it didn't wipe out was what I have up here yes. and what I have here in my heart and the drive of wanting to n- just not ever giving up. Yeah, that oh, can be, yeah, that's yeah. that's another key thing, and man. In entrepreneur, you cannot give up. It's worth it. Yeah, no, it's all worth it. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's a question right <laughs> there. Right? Absolutely, I would. For me, it's I love my life. I love the freedom that I have. I can work today, and, and if I want to, and if I don't, then I will pay the consequences. Either way, mm-hmm. right? But yeah. I'm in control versus me going to being told what to do and how to do it, and by when I have to have certain things done. It's just. Mm-hmm flexibility no that's just me so anyways and you 
Me, I would say, yeah. Me, my tocayo, man. <laughs> I, I'm like, I was like, oh, fuck, another successful Mauricio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm on the, we're, we're on the way up. We're yeah, going to yeah. meet you up there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like my brother was saying, once you have an idea, just go for it. Yeah. You don't stop. Don't, you're going to, like you said, you're going to doubt yourself like everybody else does. You're going to doubt yourself if you're even doing it right or whatever. But forget all the noise. As long as you know you got a good product, you're building a brand, keep showing up every day. Just yeah. keep showing up. Have belief in your product. Have belief in yourself. And don't yeah. let nobody ever take that away from you. I, I always tell, I have a mantra. I, I say, nothing or no one will get in the way of my success. That's period. a Well, nothing meaning... Anything, like any incident, any situation, mm -hmm. anyone, meaning person, whether it's my family or a personal relationship or a business relationship, nothing or no, nothing or anyone will get in the way of my success, yeah. period. And that's just, that it, I actually added another one, my success or my peace, because that's the other part. Now, as you get older and you get, to, you start getting to a certain level of where you're building this empire and you start building this peace, it's not a comfort it's peace, right? Meaning that you don't let anyone, the noise disrupt you or things get in your head. Man, once you let someone fuck with your peace, you're just like, whoa, dude, like, they took over. you got to snip it. Mm -hmm. Because then if not, then it becomes a toxic it relationship. Could be, it could be like a cancer starts growing. Yeah. yeah. So I added the peace this year. I was like, I, a peace is important to me because I know where I want to be. And I know the other part is that I want to surround myself with a great team of people that want to see me grow as well that we know we want I, I we also need cheerleaders too mm -hmm. because I catch myself I'm cheering for everybody and then you're like fuck man who's cheering for me or yeah. who's filling my cup mm -hmm. right I'm always I care about everybody else but that's just because that's who I am yeah but it has to reciprocate right and mm -hmm. that's why for me is to bring other like minds around and let's see if we all we all rise together so yeah. That's my inspiration of, of oh, yeah, why definitely. I do what I'm doing. Podcast to me, yeah, it's great. I always wanted to have my own show. I wanted to be famous. <laughs> I got my own thing. But yeah, I'm doing it for other reasons. I'm doing it because it gives us an ability to share our stories. Yeah. Because before, how would we sell? Yeah, share it's a our great platform to be on. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. And you guys, I encourage you guys, not right now, but later, do a version of, of doing a podcast to your business because it's going to be important. Yeah. And then one last anyway. thing. Yeah. Never stop learning, never stop growing, yeah. never stop dreaming, never give up, and never give in. That's right. Y puro pa' adelante. Puro pa' adelante, man. And planeta forever, eh? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, before we uh, wrap it up, you guys brought some samples. I just want to share them. Maybe we'll pop one open. Let's see. If oh, yeah, they're over there. We'll get one of our assistants back there. One of our hands to bring. <laughs> yes. Got to give a shout out to my team here. Amazing team. Yeah. We got Tyler, who's learning production back there. Actually, he knows, but he's, he's learning more. <laughs> and then Janine Escobar, she's a producer of the show. And then Nancy Morgia, who handles all of the all of the bookings now for me and my life now. So, oh, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> all right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, you guys stacked this up. Man. So the oh, top ones damn. are the regular size paletas, but the ones that you want are right. at the very bottom. This is a... Uh, Guanabana. 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 Sour sauce. Damn, That's one of the right exotic there. flavors. Ooh. Here, you, you want one? You, here, you got, here, <laughs> give that back there. Guanabana mango. All right, there we go. And then, oh, damn, see, look at that. Come on, man, that, that, that does, that's, fa that's fancy with, right uh, there. Raspberry that's, jam. That's and, fancy. Uh, and at the shop, you'll be able to get the paleta. We'll dip it. We'll add the toppings. Yeah. And yeah. then these are the uh, the water-based ones? or what? Yeah, the water ones are at the bottom. But that's right. water. That's guanabana with berries. <laughs> Man, see, I can eat the water ones, right? That's good for yeah. my diet, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all fruit. It's fruit. There's no it sugar is. in here. <laughs> Tyler, you want one? Oh, yeah. All right. You're working right now, but we got some for you. We got. All right, guys. Is there a website that we can catch you guys at? Or what's the Instagram? You can find us on Instagram, Paleta Planeta. All right. And Facebook, also Paleta Planeta. And also website, www.paletaplaneta.com. All right. And for any info, inquiries, info at paletaplaneta.com. But our biggest, the biggest form of communication, the best form of communication there is Instagram. There you go. At Paleta Planeta. At Paleta Planeta. Yes. There you go. And you guys own the domain too, by the way, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Paletaplaneta.com. We, we had to do that. We had to do that. I don't want to have to buy it and then sell it for 10 grand. <laughs> Your store, what are we looking at? We're looking to open our brick and mortar sometime in yeah, I thought we talked about it. May, Four, yeah, closer to May, second uh, quarter. Yes, you know. a lot of things have to fall into place. Health mm. department, city, so on, so forth. 
Just got to keep cracking that whip with them. Yeah. Let me know again if you guys get stuck in that. And let me know when the grand opening date is. We will. We'll make sure to promote it. You'll be at uh, the soft opening. Oh, yeah. No, friends and family. Yeah, yeah, you'll be at the soft opening. I'm going to be there like, yeah, esta está rica. All right. Otra? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. Good. Thank you so much again. Thank you, everyone. Mauricio Mejia Live. And we're out. Thank you. Thank you. Mauricio Mejia Live.